Every woman needs to be respected, regardless how she looks, if she gained weight, uh, you know, no one wants to have a nickname like that. Um, having said that, being a Miss Universe, you know, we know what, what the role entails. We know we need to be healthy and, uh, you know, we have every possible help for us to be so. You know, we have personal trainers, we have nutritionists, etc. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, Miss Universe is a brand and, and they quite like you to follow uh, what's within their sort of brand ethos. Right. But it's not about the weight where this conversation is, of course. It's about the words that he used. And if he, and as you said, every woman needs to be respected. What would your reaction have been if those, if if, if you had been called those words while working with the with the Miss Universe organization? I would have been upset, of course. Uh, like I said, no one wants to be called anything like that. And, you know, we know Trump is Trump and he has no filter for, for what he thinks. And that's, I guess, partly why some people like him. Uh, but at the same time, I guess he says things in the heat of the moment, which, you know, I think he might not even mean, like this particular comment. Um, but, of course, I understand she's upset. Um, I, I would have been, certainly, if someone called me that. Um, but like I said, yeah, um, you know, we need to stay healthy, and that's, that's kind of part of the contract. It's hard to know what he means, right, because he's still saying it all these years later, not maybe using the words Miss Piggy and Miss Housekeeping, but still very critical uh, of her weight. You did work around Donald Trump. Did you ever hear him use this kind of language? Well, I mean, I met him during the Miss Universe competition in uh, 2015 in Miami. And, you know, he was there for a good week or so. And he was very nice to everyone. You know, he was never disrespectful at any point. Um, certainly not to me or any of the girls. So I can't say anything from first-hand experience. He, they treated us very nicely. You know, we were, we were very well looked after. And, um, and so from, I can't say that he said anything inappropriate at, at that time. We know, of course, you can't vote in this election, but from your personal experiences you've had with, with Donald Trump, do you, and what you've seen in this election, do you think he would make a good president? Well, it's tough to say. I mean, he's obviously a good businessman. He's done well in his life. You know, you have to admire him for his achievements. Um, I watched the debate a little bit. I mean, it was sort of 3 a.m. Swedish time. Right. And I think they both have some good points. You know, I think, I think I have huge admiration for Hillary standing her ground there and being so composed and, and, and so prepared. And, you know, I think, I think they, they both have some good points. And... Um, you know, it, no matter who wins, it's going to be uh, a, a huge um, historical moment for, for America. Mm -hmm. and, and ultimately, of course, it will affect all of us. Uh, right. and, but I, I'll have to leave that to, to America to decide who, who's going to win. Finally, do, do you have any message uh, you, you want to send uh, to Alicia Machado, who is obviously, you know, who went through this all those years ago and is now going through it again, sort of having to relive um, what she considers to be painful moments right now? Any message you want to send to her? Well, like I said, I'm sorry, of course, that she had to hear some negative comments about her. But ultimately, I think this title of Miss Universe 1996 is a massive thing. And it's obviously a platform she's been able to use very well uh, for her career. And I also understand she's, she's, she's a successful activist, etc. And of course, a platform like Miss Universe, which I guess ultimately Donald gave her, you know, is, is a massive thing. And you can do a huge amount of good with it. So I guess in a way she is who she is because of that platform and and so am i